Hey everybody, 14 hours we've been traveling and we are finally home. So this is the first time ever that I'm taking my horse's halter and hanging it back up and not putting her back in the field. It's very strange because um, we've had Nika since she was a yearling and now she's 18. And this is the first time ever that she has been out of my care. Um, so I've never left her anywhere before. So it's kind of strange to do that. But I'm really excited and I'm really happy to have this opportunity. We are four hours from home and we are about to see some babies. We, we found puppies. We found some puppies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, look at the guys. babies. Oh. oh, look at this one. They're so cute. Oh, oh my god. Look at you. The first mare that we'll be dropping off for breeding is Nikki, and she is going to be bred to this Arabian stallion, Tune of Cadron. I had the privilege of riding him a few years ago and was really impressed with his athletic ability. He's got a fantastic disposition, and his babies are just about as sweet as they get. Oh my gosh, are they the cutest things ever? <laughs> Hi. Oh my god. Look at your beautiful little head. And if you look at the two of them, they're almost stamped exactly yeah. the same. They're just so cool. Uh -huh. They're built the same. It's just really cool. Careful, don't run. Babies, out here. Oh, he had babies. Yeah, he's he learned not to bite because okay. at first he was like, nip, you know, you yeah. scratch him and he nibble. Like, oh, no, no, no. my really gosh. Look, look at you. You're just beautiful. Oh, beautiful. You are just beautiful. Yes, you are. Look at your little nose. Uh. I love your snapping turtle. <laughs> Oh my goodness. At first I thought she just like rolled a turd and I was like, oh, oh that is so cool. Oh my god. Bodie would love that. Should we put take it home? <laughs> it I'll box. totally take that home. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but well, you can let him get his mouth open ready to get you. No, but he's a snapper. Oh, look at look that. His, look at his look at his tail. Yeah, I love yeah. his tail. It's so prehistoric. And his mouth yeah. and his up and uh -huh. jagged edged uh, yeah. shell. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they would, didn't have because this used to Whoops. be Sorry, little turtle. <laughs> Sorry, little turtle. I got too excited. <laughs> and then Rosie right there is because he thought we're treating her to mobster. Yeah. We have arrived. Yeah, he's a handsome fella. He's huge. Buddy, he's a big boy. Hey, this is a quarter horse stallion named Amigo. Amigo's registered name is Brownberry. The thing I really like about him is he has a very quiet and gentle nature. He's got great confirmation, that old style, thick quarter horse build to him. And he's not, he's not a very tall guy, but he sure is built pretty stocky. Katie's mare special and my mare Nika are actually bred very similar. Um, they're more bred for speed, whereas this guy is bred for reining and cow working. So we're really excited to see um, how the how the short and stocky build of him with our little bit taller, thinner built mares. We think it's going to be a really good combination, and kind of adding that need for speed with the with the athletic ability of a cow working horse will be a really good just be a good combination all the way around so we're very we're very excited to see what we get girls are here on your mark get set go 
Oh, just kidding. They're just gonna, just gonna like there. follow. Yeah. One more mare is going to be added to this pasture with our two girls and then after they're adjusted then the stallion will be introduced as well and they'll be pasture bred together for the summer. met Nika know that she is one of my absolute favorite horses in the entire world and I am very thankful to have this opportunity to breed her to a really amazing stallion and I hope that I um, get a nice healthy good quality baby and I plan to it being one of my personal horses that's my plan as of right now but we'll see what happens of course anything can happen Something that I'm really hoping to gain through this whole experience is just the basic knowledge of what all goes into um, breeding and raising a foal. I've, of course, I've assisted with a lot of that throughout my life, but I've never had a horse that I have selected the sire and the dam and just made it all happen. I'm looking forward to be the only person that gets to handle this baby and see what I can do with it from start to finish. So this is, for me, this is just one more step in my education. This is a great opportunity for me and I'm really excited to see what all becomes of it. I have only bred one other horse before and that was Miss Kitty back in 2005. And unfortunately, somewhere midterm or so, she aborted the foal. And so we lost the baby and that was really, that was really hard to, to deal with, but, and I did, I chose not to rebreed her because it was kind of, you know, it's a bummer to go through. So I just left it at that. So I, I'm taking, I put so much thought, so much thought for probably a decade into breeding Nika. And I finally made the decision to just go ahead and do it. I found the perfect stallion and um, did my research. And I'm really hoping for a nice, healthy foal out of a really amazing horse and out of two really amazing horses. So I'm really excited to share this journey with all of you and I look forward to seeing what becomes of it. Have a great night.